flat barbell bench press, and dumbbell variations. This exercise can also be performed with two dumbbells using a closed pronated grip. During the dumbbell exercise, the spotter will assist by spotting the athlete's forearms near the wrist instead of the barbell. Major muscles used include pectoralis major, anterior deltoids, and triceps brachii. Starting position for the athlete. Lie in a supine position on a bench in the five-point body contact position. Place the body on the bench so that the eyes are below the racked bar. Grasp the bar with a closed pronated grip slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Signal the spotter for assistance in moving the bar off the supports. Position the bar over the chest with elbows fully extended. All repetitions begin from this position. Starting position for the spotter. Stand very close to the head of the bench, but do not distract the athlete. Place the feet approximately shoulder width apart with knees slightly flexed. Grasp the bar with a closed, alternated grip inside the athlete's hands. At the athlete's signal, assist with moving the bar off the supports. Guide the bar to a position over the athlete's chest. Release the bar smoothly. Downward movement phase for the athlete. Lower the bar to touch the chest at approximately nipple level. Keep the wrist stiff and the forearms perpendicular to the floor and parallel to each other. Maintain the five point body contact position. Downward movement phase for spotter. Keep the hands in the alternated grip position, close to but not touching the bar as it descends. Slightly flex the knees, hips, and torso and keep the back flat when following the bar. Upward movement phase, athlete. Push the bar upward until the elbows are fully extended. Keep the wrists stiff and the forearms perpendicular to the floor and parallel to each other. Maintain the five point body contact position. Do not arch the back or raise the chest to meet the bar. At the end of the set, signal the spotter for assistance in racking the bar. Keep a grip on the bar until it is racked. Upward movement phase for the spotter. Keep the hands in the alternated grip position close to but not touching the bar as it ascends. Slightly extend the knees, hip, and torso and keep the back flat when following the bar. At the athlete's signal, grasp the bar with an alternated grip inside the athlete's hands. Guide the bar back onto the supports. Keep a grip on the bar until it is re-racked. Common mistakes include not maintaining the five-point body contact position, arching the back during ascension, and not completing full range of motion.